Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have a look at the latest from the live radar we'll run through the UKV, have a look at the precipitation and the temperature over the next five days we'll also have a look at the weather warnings as we do have some thunderstorms as you can see on the radar at the moment across parts of the Republic of Ireland and Northern Ireland and we'll continue to see those push in uh, to various areas over the next sort of few days and potentially over the course of the east tonight there could be some very heavy rain into tomorrow as well we do have a yellow rain warning across parts of eastern Northern Ireland for this heavy rain we do have at the moment of these dissipating thunderstorms. Um, uh, so yeah, some disruptive weather potentially for some at the moment and over the next few days. We'll then have a look at the GFS, GEM, East OEF and the Ensemble we'll look at the longer term as the GFS goes really warm for Halloween. A bit of a Halloween heat wave on today's 6 o'clock run. Very interesting seeing that. The general theme from all the runs and Ensemble members looks like average to above average conditions um, the, but the GFS really spikes the temperatures to 50 degrees at 850 HPA on the 31st of October which would give temperatures at the surface of in excess of potentially 20 degrees so very warm indeed um, other runs don't go quite that warm but most are above average for the foreseeable future all the way through to the end of October the GFS operation run uh, not only goes very warm for October uh, for the sorry Halloween and the end of October in general but for the start of November actually goes really cold so a real weird GFS run today um, and we'll have to keep an eye on what happens through November but for the foreseeable future through the rest of October it does look warmer than average and I know a couple of weeks ago we were thinking a colder than average end of the month uh, but that has sort of dissipated out of any moral output and yeah it looks milder than average uh, for the next at least a week to 10 days. So, do remember, if you enjoy my videos, make sure you like and subscribe. And remember to follow me on Twitter as well. The link's in the description. So, you start on the live radar. You can see it is widely pretty dry, apart from across Republic of Ireland and Northern Ireland. We've got these heavy... Uh, areas of rain. These are sort of dissipating thunderstorms. There's still a few thunderstorm cells here. Um, and they did pop up quite significantly to the south of Dublin along the coast there, but they could dump quite a bit of rain in a short period of time. And that's why we do have a yellow uh, rain warning in force we'll have a look at in a minute. You can see that generally other areas of rain are pushing in from the south and the west. And those will continue to bump in with moisture and warm upper air temperatures, giving potentially heavy rain and thundery weather uh, again in the south and the west. And as I said, we could see some heavy rain pushing into the east overnight tonight. If you do have a look at the two meter temperatures, uh, as I'm recording this around half three, four, you can see quite warm still in the south, potentially getting up towards 18, 19, maybe even the United States 20 degrees today. And that's going to continue over the next few days. We could be seeing conditions like that. So further north, it's of course cooler. And wherever we have precipitation, it's going to be cooler as well. But still, widely, it is above average so not too bad and as i said if we did see that gfs run towards the end of october we'd see these oranges a bit more widespread with that 20 degrees potentially across many many areas but at the moment it is just one run it's just something to keep an eye on if we do go over to the weather warnings and have a look at the yellow rain warning across parts of eastern northern ireland it does expire in around uh, an hour or two after you're watching this uh, so it isn't going to be too uh, much longer, but we'll still have a we'll still cover it. And you can see 15 to 25 millimeters is expected to fall quite widely through the, this afternoon to the early evening, with up to 40 millimeters across County Down, and as much as 60 millimeters across the moor. The rain should turn more intermittent and ease during the evening, although further rain is likely overnight. Again, high likelihood, lower end of the impact matrix. And I wouldn't be surprised to see more of these snap weather warnings over the next couple of days where we do see some areas of thunderstorms, maybe even across eastern England where we do have that heavier rain tonight into tomorrow. So we've just got to keep an eye on that. So if we do now go over to the UKV and have a look see what that is showing over the next five days... So if you head to this afternoon on the UKV, you can see that we've got those showers pushing in the north, but they should dissipate over the course of this evening. We could see a few more heavy showers breaking out tonight, and then you see, look at that southeast corner, you can see some heavy rain spreading up. Some heavy rain overnight with some of those heavy thunder showers as well into Northern Ireland and Scotland, but it mainly is that area of the southeast that could bring some widespread rain across England into northeast England, maybe even Scotland later in the day. Big heavy showers and thundery weather there potentially within that so could drop quite a bit of rain there could even see a yellow warning put in force for rain there across east anglia perhaps because there's a good good six plus hours of some very heavy rain there interesting seeing that beyond that into friday we do see more heavy showers pushing in from the south and the west keeping things really quite unsettled you can see a lot of oranges and reds there showing that it could be thundery in nature 
And it is all because of we have this very warm air mass that does continue all the way into the weekend before it eventually will get swept away. But you can see there yeah, a lot of reds and oranges there all the way into early parts of Monday, showing big bands of heavy, thundery showers pushing in. And again, you can see the 850 HPA temperatures getting towards 10 degrees at 850 HPA. And that is why we are seeing these very, very warm conditions um, and very thundery conditions, the at added energy. If you do look at the 2 metre max temperatures, you can see this afternoon temperatures rising to around 16, 17 degrees. We could locally be a little bit warmer than that. Overnight temperatures not too bad, maybe mid, mid teens, low teens. And then to tomorrow afternoon, again, maybe mid to high teens. But again, when we see some showers and thundery weather potentially in the east, it will keep those temperatures down to maybe the mid to low teens. But quite a heavy, um, well, with that heavy rain, it could be quite a muggy sort of feeling day. Into Friday, we can see those temperatures in the day once again peaking, maybe mid to high teens, maybe 19, 20 degrees. And into Saturday, again, you can see temperatures maybe mid teens to high teens and Sunday as well. Maybe even touching 20 degrees there, widely 18 or 19, very, very warm temperatures there. And again, all because we have this very warm air mass that remains, it will decrease uh, beyond the weekend. It will get to more towards average, but it still will be milder than average. Um, and we'll continue to see these sort of mid-teens sort of temperatures throughout the end of October. Now, if we do go over to GFS and have a look at this really quite warm run, it actually does go very warm for Halloween, and the first few days of November actually goes very cold, so it does do a bit of a flip, but of course that colder weather into November is very far away. Again, it would correspond well with what we see in the winter updates, uh, or the winter look-ahead so far, but um, it is so far ahead that there's no real point mentioning it too much detail at this stage but you can see the southerly flow at the moment but low pressure running in giving us unsettled conditions and that is why we are seeing a lot of heavy showers and thunderstorms beyond that into next week you see the wind direction comes in more from a westerly sort of southwesterly to westerly meaning a slightly cooler air mass moves in again still milder than average but slightly cooler but we just stay with low pressure out to our west just spiraling in showers areas of low pressure but generally milder than average weather as we head through to the last few days of october higher pressure pushes in and it budges those lows further westwards we stay in a very warm southerly flow and look at those isobars bring up all the way from the mid-Atlantic. And again, you can put those raw upper air temperatures. Look at that, the 15 degree isoform moves in. Incredibly warm. And the temperature deviation, again, 12 degrees above average. We do zoom in to the United Kingdom. And you can see that afternoon in uh, on Halloween, look at that mid to high teens widely maybe even the low 20s in a few spots uh, and again these are, are going to underdo it a little bit but could see 21 22 degrees there if we did see this sort of pattern it is sort of 11 12 days away but it would um, very much correspond with the westerly to southwesterly flow we do continually have at the moment so very interesting seeing that from the gfs today but if i do put on the age of thp temperatures and go back to around day 11, day 12. Just watch what happens once that warm air gets swept away, cold air digs in, and the minus five line spreads through. And you wouldn't be surprised to be seeing snow with this. Look at the dew points, widely below freezing. Potential equivalent temperature, look at that, incredibly cold. You see even better here, absolute Arctic plunge throughout the first few days um, but that would be really really quite cold and you can see snow there across scotland northern ireland and maybe even northern england into the midlands so very very interesting seeing that coming off the back of a very warm easter and again if we actually go to the united kingdom look but on the two meter temperatures look at that freezing at 6 a.m and the previous days afternoon you can see would hardly be above mid single digits in that sort of air mass so incredibly cold conditions coming just a couple days after that two or three days after that very warm halloween so we'll have to see exactly what happens with that but at the moment i'd probably way towards more of a warmer halloween and less of this cold snap because it is well in the shorter time frame than at least this cold snap is um, and it is generally what we're seeing on the ensemble members for warmer west to southwesterly winds so we'd favor that a little bit more but interesting seeing this gfs run today if you go over to the gm see how that does compare up to day 10 again a southwesterly flow again low pressure spiraling in keeping us very unsettled and as we head towards the halloween period you can see the wind is from the south uh, not as much high pressure dominated but we're still getting in towards sort of that five to ten degree 
isotherm, which is very, very warm, nevertheless, getting temperatures in, in around that sort of mid-teens mark. So not quite as warm uh, and sort of heat wavy like the GFS was going for, but still um, pretty warm indeed. It's just something we do need to keep an eye on. This is probably the more moderate scenario, this is more likely scenario, low pressure remaining out in the Atlantic, and we remaining with a southwesterly flow to keep bringing up a mild, warm, humid air masses from the central Atlantic. So this is yeah, as I said, this is the most likely scenario, uh, but it is very very similar to the GFS, just not quite bring that hot air. That hot air is just saying just over the Mediterranean. So just a slight shift in the isobars, slight position change in the exact high pressure, low pressure, and then we would go a little bit warmer there. If we do have a look at the ECMWF, see how that does compare out to day 10. Again, a southerly flow at the moment, continuing very unsettled, uh, and all the way up until day 10 again low pressure trying to run in off the Atlantic um, and it is being fairly successful at least for the west the south and the east maybe holding on to dry weather a bit more but again look at that still in a very warm air mass above average for the time of year you can see yellows two to four degrees maybe even touching on six degrees so well above average for the time of year again nothing exceptional but very uh, very much continuing on from the GM and the GFS again with a more moderate scenario than the GFS and probably more likely as well now, if we do finish the video by having a look at the ensembles, you can see how drastic the GFS was today. Uh, you can see we are pretty much going to stay above average for the foreseeable future all the way to the end of October. And you can see it is moderately above average, not the big peak we're seeing in the next day or two, getting towards 15 degrees at 850 HPA. But you can see that operational run, maybe in the control run, going for a similar scenario there around Easter, uh, sorry, not Easter, Halloween. I um, don't know why I think it's Easter. Um, no, 31st of October. Uh, and you can see very, very warm. Most, though, go for more moderate, between 5 and 10 degrees at 850 HPA. That's what the GF, uh, the, the GM and the ECMWF were going for. And then you can see it plunging bitterly cold from the GFS there, getting down towards minus 5 and below in London, which is really quite cold, and that's heading into sort of the uh, into the Guy Fawkes night sort of area. So yeah, it could be some real, real cold fireworks displays if we did see something like that. But regardless of the air masses, as I continually say, the persistent thing is the precipitation looking very high for the foreseeable future. And yeah, doesn't look like we're going to see any major dry weather perhaps if we did see that high pressure build with that very warm hot air mass we could but at this stage i'm not seeing anything too drastic um signaling that maybe the south and east may say dry with high pressure trying to reach up from the from europe but most of the time we got low pressure off the atlantic keeping us unsettled if we finish by having the uh ecmwf again very similar, staying well above average for, for, for the foreseeable future. Around the Halloween period, we have got a few warm runs, but most of them are, are just above average. Uh, and again, very similar to the GFS, where it's above average and high precipitation generally as well. Again, the south and east are not going to see the highest precipitation. The, the north and the west are more likely to see more precipitation. Um, and especially the Republic of Ireland and Northern Ireland are going to see a lot with this sort of pattern. But regardless, it's remaining very unsettled um, and fairly, fairly warm as well. And could be even quite hot this week with thunderstorms um, getting up towards 20 degrees and could even get even warmer or hotter for this time of year around the Halloween period from what the GFS was showing today with that 50 degree isofirm moving in and a widespread 20 degrees. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you're looking for any cold weather, this is not the uh, current uh, models that you want to be seeing, but it is October, so it, it can happen. We see these sort of warm scenarios, uh, and it's what we're seeing um, currently. Uh, so we'll just have to see what happens over the next few weeks. For the time being, it's going to be warm, pretty unsettled, uh, all the way through to the end of the month. But who knows what could happen in November, and as we have a learned look in the winter look heads, could be turning colder. We'll just have to see. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you again for another video soon.